Hello, welcome to Let Us Now's International School Basic 2 online tutorial. Our subject for today is our world and our people. Our world and our people. And the strand is strand 5. Strand 5. My global community. My global community. Substrand 2. Introduction to computer. Introduction to computer. Indicator 1. The computer mouse. The computer mouse. In this lesson, we will look at the computer mouse. But before that, let's remind ourselves what is a computer? A computer is an electronic device that accepts data, processes it, and gives back results as information. A computer is an electronic device that accepts data, processes it, and gives back results as information. So any machine that is able to accept data, processes it, and bring out information is termed as a computer. A computer has four basic parts. Let's look at them. One, we have the monitor. The monitor. Two, the system unit. System unit. Three, keyboard. The keyboard. And four, mouse. The computer mouse. That will be our main topic for today. But before that, let's note something. Other computers have printer and speakers attached. Though we have four basic components of the computer, other computers have printers and speakers attached to it. Good. Let's look at the mouse and its parts. This is the computer mouse. This is the computer mouse. Let's look at the parts of the mouse. One, we have the scroll wheel. This is the scroll wheel. The one in the middle here. That is the scroll wheel. We have the left button. This is the left button. This is the left button of the mouse. Three, we have the right button. This one is the right button of the mouse. The one that your middle finger will lie on, that is the right. And your index finger lies on the left button. Good. Let's continue. We are going to look at the types of mouse that we have. The types of mouse. One, we have the optical mouse. Optical mouse. This mouse I'm holding here is a clear example of an optical mouse. It has no ball under it, but rather a light. It uses light to work. This is an optical mouse. This is an optical mouse. Two, we have the mechanical or wheel mouse. Mechanical or wheel mouse. This is a mechanical or wheel mouse. It has a round ball and height. It doesn't use light to work. In the olden days, they were the common mounts we were having. That is a mechanical or wheel mount. The third one is cordless or wireless mounts. Cordless or wireless mounts. This is a cordless or wireless mount. It has no cord. And it has nowhere to. This part is absent. It doesn't have a cord, only the mouse. It uses either infrared or Bluetooth to work. So we have the cordless or wireless mouse. That is how it works. Let's continue to look at the uses of the mouse. The uses of the mouse. We will try to show the uses of the mouse on this computer. One, it is used to 
open program on the computer. Let's use our mouse to open a program on our computer. You can see the cursor moving on the monitor. We have put it on one of the programs here. Let's open it with the mouse. It is reading. The program has opened. So one, the mouse is used to open programs on the computer. Two, it is used to close program on the computer. Now we are going to close our program again. We can see the cursor moving on the computer. The cursor is moving on the computer. So we send it to the close button and click on it. We have closed the program. Three, it is used to move icons on the computer. If you look at this computer, there are icons on it. If you want to move one from where it is to the other, you use the mouse. Let's try to move one icon and see. This one here, we click and hold and move it. You can see the icon moving. So you leave it and the icon moves to that place. So the mouse is used to move icons on the computer. Please, below this tutorial, these notes and exercises will be uploaded. Download it and solve it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to get notification each time a new video is uploaded. The next video will be in four days time. Until then, Bye-bye.